Hey folks, I uh, just picked up this uh, Hanna checker for my uh, reef aquarium to uh, measure alkalinity levels. Um, got a good deal during the uh, Black Friday Cyber Monday week and also had a gift card I was able to take advantage of. I ordered from Bulk Reef Supply. I'm real happy with them as a supplier and uh, find their uh, helpful videos to be very informative and educational. Uh, this uh, version of the Hanna checker for alkalinity measures in uh, DKH, uh, German degrees of hardness. Um, it's a reading that uh, it seems like most reefers uh, look at nowadays as opposed to the other version of this particular unit. So uh, let's open it up and, and see what we got. It comes in a uh, pretty solid uh, plastic case for storage. We've got uh, some uh, literature here, a quick reference card or guide. Marine alkalinity, little booklet. Here's the uh, gadget itself, the Hanna checker. Looks like it comes with a reagent, which can be reordered as needed. Got two little glass cuvettes for testing, I imagine, the uh, aquarium water versus the reagent. We'll find out how that works once I read the instructions. Got the battery, syringe, looks like it's uh, one milliliter and uh, maybe a tip for that syringe. So uh, let me get the battery in here, power this on and see how it goes. So in order to get the battery in of this uh, new fresh out of the box Anna checker, it's a little Phillips screw at the base of the unit. They do provide a AAA battery. Of course, nothing's uh, perfectly easy. Yeah, it looks like it's secure enough without the screw. How about that? Alright, now that I've got the base plate off after having removed the Phillips screw, see that there's a little area here where it's got uh, eight little metal pins and the connector here that's in connected with the base. Looks like we want to insert that very carefully. Now with the supplied AAA battery, a little symbol here for positive, so the positive terminal with a little nub facing outward. And then I'm going to go ahead and reseat the base carefully, and I'm going to go ahead and screw it in with the Phillips screw. Now, with the battery installed, I'm going to go ahead and remove the protective plastic off the LCD display and power the unit on by depressing the black button. All right, now the instructions say that when it uh, displays the C1, it's ready. So let's go ahead and prepare a sample and test it. Now with one of the glass cuvettes, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get uh, 10 millimeters to the line here, 10 millimeters of aquarium water. Gonna rinse it first a couple of times. Make sure there's no you know, dust or debris or anything to affect the result. Always a challenge. Get just the right amount. Okay, looks like we're good there. All right, with a 10 millimeter sample of aquarium water, I'm going to go ahead and replace the cap. And then with a Hanna checker on and showing cuvette one or C1 with the press word flashing, I'm going to open up the lid. I'm going to place it. I've dried the bottle off. I'm going to place it inside, and then I'm going to close the cap, let it snap, and I'm going to press the button. This is zeroing the unit out. All 
All right, now it wants C2, which means I'm going to go ahead and add the reagent. I go ahead and open up the lid. I'm going to remove the cuvette. All right, with this HANA checker, you do get a one milliliter syringe and also the tip. Uh, doing my research online, it looks like some folks prefer to use the syringe without the tip and bring the reagent up all the way to the one milliliter level. Uh, the jury's out. Some folks use the tip, some don't. Some don't like the extra space or air introduced when the tip is used. I'm going to go ahead and go without using the tip. Here's the new bottle of reagent. I had to remove the protective ring around the, the seal around the cap and also there was some plastic right over the opening. You go ahead and draw in one milliliter. Got a little bit of air in here, so I'm going to make sure that the level of the reagent is at the one milliliter line. Okay. Okay, here's the reagent, and here's a 10 milliliter sample of aquarium water. I'm going to go drip in the full one milliliter. Good to the last drop. And we're going to go ahead and recap sample and invert it several times. Ensure a thorough mix and place it back in to the alkalinity checker. It is waiting for sample two. And I close the lid, snap it, and press the button. And then wait for the result. 7.7. I'm going to go ahead and compare this with the result I got from my Salifert alkalinity test kit to uh, look for a consistency in the results, but uh, I'm very happy I have this uh, device here. I think it's going to make uh, maintenance of the aquarium and testing of the alkalinity levels uh, very easy and uh, very quick. So thanks for watching.